okay so watch os 9.2 is here and this update packs a lot of new features and changes that i want to let you know of so that you can best utilize your apple watch so for me on my apple watch ultra here this update came in at exactly 239 megabytes updating from beta 4 if you're updating to this update for the first time let's say you're coming from watch os 9.1 this update is expected to come in at somewhere around about 500 megabytes it's not a big update if we go into settings and then go to where it says general and go to about you'll be able to see the build number that i have on hand here it's 20s361 that's what i have on watchOS 9.2 and now let's talk about the new features and changes that are here with watchOS 9.2 the first one that i would like to highlight for you has to do with the workouts and it seems like apple has done a lot of improvements when it comes to the workouts that we have here especially the ones that have to do with outdoor activities and the first one that i would like to highlight for you is outdoor run now with this outdoor run workout if you begin this workout in outdoor run the workout can now detect when you arrive at a running track and it will give you track specific metrics for you to be able to run on the track so now it uses the advanced gps and sensors that are here with the apple watch ultra series 8 and se second gen to be able to know that you are on a track and then give you those workouts metrics that you are looking for so that's something that's good and also it doesn't actually end when it comes to the workout app a lot of changes too are here when it comes to the outdoor run outdoor cycle for example this one that you see here it's also been improved and also outdoor wheelchair workouts have the ability to be able to detect that you are actually doing a workout in a route that you commonly used or most oftenly used and give you the ability to be able to race against your previous best time or lap when it comes to that route that you uh you have done before that it has detected that is good and it's an ability that allows you to keep trying to beat your previous best when it comes to these outdoor run outdoor cycle and outdoor wheelchair workouts that are here with watch with 9.2 now also you probably saw the kickbox workout that i was trying out so if you go all the way to your workouts and you add the kickboxing workout as you can see i added it here with watch OS 9.2 i'll be happy to let you know that there has been improvements in the background of the os to be able to improve this kickbox workout to allow it to read more accurate metrics and give you readings that are somewhat better than what we used to have before that is for the kickboxing workout if you are someone that uses it quite often now when it comes to the wallet app if you are a person that uses the apple card and you basically use the apple wallet app before you couldn't really check your savings account balance but now with watchOS 9.2 this is something that all users that use the apple card are able to do right from your apple watch without needing your iphone you can do this on your apple watch and check your balance if you use airpods pro with acn or active noise cancellation so that could be the airpods pro first gen or second gen and you are basically using the active noise cancellation and you are playing music let's say for example from your apple watch now the noise app would display when environmental levels drop while wearing airpods first gen and second gen just in case you might you had probably enable the active noise cancellation just because the environment you were in was too loud and so the app will open up and tell you that hey the noise is now reduced perhaps you would want to cancel the active noise cancellation or go back to transparency mode if that's something that you want to do now also when it comes to watch os 9.2 especially for the home app and for family setup i'll be happy to let you know that if you have home accessories you can see for me unfortunately i haven't yet bought any smart home accessories and by the way this also supports the new meta update and if you do have home accessories like smart keys and home port devices as well as smart home accessories devices that you would like to share i'll be happy to let you know with watchOS 9.2 you can basically invite or share smart keys 
for those people that you set up to allow them to be able to access your digital keys and be able to unlock your home if that's something you want or if you want them to control like devices such as the home pod audio devices or smart accessories this is something that can be done in the home app and if you do share your digital keys then that's something that they will be able to access in the wallet app unfortunately unfortunately this is not something that i use but if you do you can always utilize this fully now also when it comes to the siren app i'll be happy to let you know that apple has done some minor settings improvements so that accessibility can support the visualization when the siren app is in use on the apple watch ultra this is the only device that has the siren app and so this feature is exclusive to this device if you use assistive touch that we've seen quite a while ago with the apple watch i'll be happy to let you know that assistive touch and quick actions have improved response time and accuracy so now if you are double clenching or double pinching or clenching this is something that has been improved you'll be able to tell the difference between the previous watch os 9 and now the new update watch os 9.2 you'll be able to see the accuracy and the time delay improvements with this update when it comes to safety for the new apple watch series that we saw that is the apple watch ultra that you see here the apple watch series 8 and the apple watch se second generation if you go into your settings and you basically go to where it says sos you'll be able to see that you know you have this severe crash uh, detection here and you can see that it has the ability to call after it detects that you've been involved in a severe crash so this is only available to the series 8 and ultra as well as se second gen so now there have been improvements to try and optimize this for the better because there were issues where these were just calling randomly like if you do an outdoor skiing or snowboarding and you fall for some reason it will trigger this crash detection or if you were on a roller coaster it would trigger this severe crash detection and basically 911 was being called for no reason and apple has been tweaking this both on the apple watch and on the iphone that you see there since it also has the crash detection feature now again when it comes to this update watch os 9.2 i'll be happy to let you know like any other watchOS update that it does have some major security improvements that are here and so do check apple security update page to make sure that you are on the latest watchOS version and you have the latest security updates now when it comes to some of the bugs that are here that this update has has basically resolved the first one has to do with the incorrect time display after dismissing an alarm so you have an alarm in the morning and then you dismiss it the time that you see will basically be different than what you see after you dismiss your alarm so that error has been resolved with this update and if you do dismiss an alarm you should be able to see the correct time and also this update fixes an issue that would allow notifications or other app activities to disturb your mind mindfulness sections whether it's a reflect or breathe session that you are engaging in so basically nothing's supposed to di to disturb you when you are engaging in this but now this has been fixed and now when you take a moment to pause and think and just reflect a bit on your mind this won't actually disturb or notifications won't come unlike what was there before so other than that guys that's how watch OS 9.2 came in for me if you like this video do leave a like and do comment whatever you want to say about this video the update that you have found out and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace